visible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned, willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. For you, O God, show mercy to us and save us and to be the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Blessed is Christ our God, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Your mercy descend upon us, O Lord. Glory, Lord, most holy Theodoko, save us. You. Blessed are you, O God of mercy is to save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother whose annunciation we celebrate. Commemorate today and of all the saints, have mercy in us and save us for your good God of us, mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. May the Lord our God, your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you both in his kingdom.
sing to him who rose from the grave. The very source of our life, by his own death, he destroyed death, bestowing on us victory and his great mercy. As we prepare ourselves to begin the divine liturgy, we greet you with much love and joy. Today is a beautiful day. As yesterday we commemorated the Annunciation, today we commemorate St. John Climacus and the beautiful Ladder of Divine Ascent. For those of you who are watching online, which we have been noticing, we have more and more throughout the world. If you would like to light a candle, you can go to stmarkboca.net in the upper right-hand corner, click on light a candle, and one of our faithful will light that candle for you. May God bless us as we continue on our journey to the resurrection, and may he have mercy on us always. <laughs> Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Faith, amen. Υπέρ τη άνωθεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Και τη των πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Reverence and the fear of God, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop. For all in public service and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Metropolis for this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Amen. 
intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God. the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Oh, I will praise the Lord throughout my life. Bless you, his help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Lord reigns unto the ages of ages, you God of Zion, from one generation to the next. Christ our God, you were crucified and conquered death. You were one of the Holy Trinity, you glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Say, O Lord, you have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one heart. You have promised to grant the request of two and three gathering. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, manner our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Master and Lord our God, you establish in heaven the order and hosts of angels and archangels to minister your glory. Grant that your holy angels may enter with us together, we may serve and glorify your goodness. Sophia, Come, let us worship and fall down before. 
our Christ, our Lord. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Hallelujah.
face with conviction. Father, give the Bless greatest. Master of Prothesis. Father, bless the throne. Bless Master of the throne on high. be attentive. Make your vows to, to the Lord our God and perform them. God is known in Judah. His name is great in Israel. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves, and in all their disputes an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible that God should prove false, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Προσκομέν. Εύξαστε και απόδοτε κυρίω το Θεό ημών, γνωστό εν τη Ιουδαία ο Θεό, εν το Ισραήλ, μέγα το όνομα αυτού. Σοφία. Προ Εβραίου επιστολή, Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα. Προσκομέν. Αδελφοί, το Αβραάμ. Απαγγυλάμενος ο Θεός, επίκα του δενός είχεν μίζωνος ο Μώσε, όμως εν καθ' αυτού λέγον, ή μη ευλογών ευλογήσωσε και πληθύνον πληθυνώσε. Και ούτως μακροθυμή σα επέτυχεν της επαγγελίας. Άνθρωποι με γάρ κατά του μίζωνος ομνίουσιν και πάσης αυτής αντιλογίας, πέρας εις βεβαίωσιν ο όρκος ενώ περισσότερο βουλόμενος ο Θεός επιδείξε της κληρονόμης της Επαγγελίας το αμετάθετον της Βουλής αυτού, εμεσίτευσεν όρκο ή να δια δύο πραγμάτων αμεταθέτων, εν εις αδύνατον ψεύσταστε Θεόν, ισχυράν παράκλησιν έχομεν οι καταφυγόντες κρατήσε της προκειμένης ελπίδος, ειν ως άγκυραν έχομεν της ψυχής, ασφαλείται και βεβαίαν και εισερχομένην εις το εσώτερο του καταπετάσματος. Όπου πρόδρομος υπερημόνης ήρθε Ιησούς, κατά την τάξην με αλχίζεδεκ, αρχιερεύς γενόμενος εις τον αιώνα. The epistle. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. At that time, a man came to Jesus and kneeling said to him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, 
How long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy. And he fell on the ground and rolled about foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked the father, how long has he had this? And he said, from childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, Lord, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples and saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days, he will rise. Peace be proclaims the gospel in all of you. For you, our holy glory, strengthen us for this service with the power of your Holy Spirit and grant speech to our lips that we may invoke the grace of your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts you are presented. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. O possipo tu kratos upando te filatomani sit in doxan to Patrick, at will, get to I open my toy. Ninke I eat, to say on a stone, I own on. No one bound by where the desires will approach, draw near ministry, the King of Glory, to serve his great and awesome, even for your angels. But because of your next one of us, beloved French, became man, beloved alteration, the King of Jesus. The high priest and his Lord of all entrusted to us the celebration of this, the liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, the Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to approach. Look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from me. Enable with the whole power of the Holy Spirit, that's with the grace of peace and understand that I will celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. If you I come without head and pray, do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your simple and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, are God, the offer and the offer, the Lord, receive the servant to give glory. With your eternal Father and your all holy good and life, give you spirit now and ever into the age of ages. Amen. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin among the barren. Behold, you 
desire truth and need were be. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be wet in snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot of all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and hold me with a willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressions, your ways and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance, for you will no direct sacrifice. For I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall offer bullets upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. Give me a sinner. El Señor Dios se acuerde de nosotros en su reino eternamente. Ahora y siempre por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever. 
and on to the ages of ages. upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. Lord, I remember you the accident in this kingdom of wish now and forever. So the old days of our life, Holy Father, pray for us. Priroso mantina isinimonto gerio Descendant in me on the run to hear you they for men. I pray to why we could do to get on metapistios of lavias que for with you is the honor and after to hear you they for men. Perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Us, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Us, o Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. All together, I believe in one God, Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. 
and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. On those commentars, God in the eyes, let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices and ever resounding praises, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, <laughs> us precepts of salvation, releasing us from the delusions of idolatry. He guided us to the sure knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He acquired us for himself as his chosen people, a royal priest of the holy nation, having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as a ransom to death in which we were held captive, sold under sin. Descending into Hades to the cross, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened a path for all flesh to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of all of life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render each according to his works as memorials of his life-saving passion. He has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death, on the night on which he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world, 
He took bread in his holy and pure hands and presenting to you God the Father and offering thanks, blessing and sanctifying and breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Pietex of tu pondus, tu tu esti to emamu, to tis genis dia thikis, to hiperimon ke polon echinomenon. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this command of the same and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection. Do this in remembrance to me. Therefore, Master, we also remember his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven and throne at the right hand, God and Father, and his second and glorious coming again. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. We dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy and body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O holy of holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts you have presented Father, bless to the bless, holy bread. sanctify, and make this bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy and cup. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both holy gifts. Shed for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen, amen, amen. And unite us to all one another who became partakers of the one bread and the cup and the communion of the one Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy and body and blood of Christ to judgment or condemnation, but that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints. Please, your fathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, sex, and forever should be on my purpose in the faith. Remember those who have fallen asleep in the resurrection of eternal life. George, Cynthia, James, Cleopatra, Constantine, the servants of God, Gus, the newly departed, Socrates, the priest, Calatumbus, George, <coughs> Harry. In you, O Lord, most full of grace, all creation rejoices.
Remember, Lord, the people here present and those who are absent with good cause. Have mercy on them and us according to the multitude of your mercies. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Strengthen the aged. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Reunite those separated. Bring back those in error. And unite them to your holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate the captives. And heal the sick. Remember, O Lord our God, all your people, and pour out your rich mercy upon them, granting them their petition for salvation. You, O Lord, know the name of each, even from their mother's womb. For you, O Lord, are the help of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all people. You who know each person, his requests, their household, their need, deliver their, this community, O Lord, in every city and town from famine, plague, earthquake, hurricane, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Declare us to be the sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace, O Lord, and love our God. For you have given us all things to us. And be, Lord, with your people, those enduring religious persecution throughout the world. For peace in Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors, for those who have suffered from the earthquakes in Turkey and in Syria, for those who have fallen asleep and perished in the train devastation in Greece. And we pray, O Lord, for your servants, Angelo and George the priests, Aleni, George, Ron, Mary, Lubov, Kay, Steve, Danis, Margarita, Gus, George, Sergio, Spirit on Dawn, Angela, Constantine, Elena, Gary, Kim, Betty Ann, Maria, Evelyn, Michali, Angela, Craig, Fortuna, Tina, Crisula, Elaine, Stella, Christopher, Milica, Razor, Nelly, Rachel, and Jessica. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may praise and glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. A few moments ago, after we knelt, we offer a beautiful prayer and we say, Remember, Lord, above all, our Metropolitan Archbishop Alexios. And then we go down and we pray for all of those in need, and it's a beautiful thing. I want to share with you because yesterday I traveled up to Atlanta to spend some time with His Eminence on Friday evening for the Vespers in Heretizmi, salutations, and then on Saturday for the feast day of the cathedral. And His Eminence told me, I'm getting stronger, and I look forward to coming back and visiting with our faithful soon. And he said, please send my love to all of the parishioners. So I send that love to you. We pray for our Metropolitan. We pray for a re complete recovery from his stroke a year ago. He's getting stronger each and every day, and we give thanks to God. He's remembering, and he celebrated a beautiful liturgy. You'll notice as you go into the hall today that we have our Palm Sunday luncheon tickets for sale. There's a limited amount, so please make sure that you're able to purchase them. You can do so in the church, or you can go to your Realm app on your phone like I did, and I purchased two tickets for Presidenta and I right from our phone there. It's really a blessing. And in the hall today, if any of you are struggling with Realm and you want to learn how to download it to make it easier, at the table where you're going to see OCMC, which I'll talk about in a few moments, Juliana will also be there, who's helping out in the office, and she's there to help download Realm on your phone. She did it for her papu, I think, yesterday, and he was very excited. So if he can do it at 87 years old, you can do it too. So all of us, it's indeed a blessing. We supported earlier in the fall, we supported a beautiful outreach, a safe haven for babies, for newborns. And they told us we did a beautiful fundraiser here, if you remember, at the church. And one of the beautiful things that took place was the 370th baby was born, 
and it was born a little boy. And thus, after our St. Mark Church, they named that boy Mark. So that's an indeed a true blessing for us. And all the work that we did, we will continue to support this beautiful ministry. Next Sunday, as you know, we have our feeding families. We will put together over 15,000 kits of food for faithful that will go directly to Boca Helping Hands. We're going to need everyone's help, so please sign up. I see Frank right here, and he is chairing that beautiful outreach of our church. But next week, also be mindful that during liturgy, we will have with us Spectrum Films who will be here, who will be recording parts of the Divine Liturgy as we're doing some videos for our new website on stewardship, on outreach, on evangelism, on different aspects, discovering the Orthodox faith, on our endowment. And it, they're going to take some B-roll footage of the church as we're celebrating. And finally today, our fourth Sunday of Lent, we celebrate OCMC Sunday. And what we will do is, of course, at each of the five Sundays during Lent, we do not we will have an opportunity for you to make part of your almsgiving together as a community, and we will collect funds at the end of church for OCMC. We're blessed here today that in a few moments he will offer the homily this morning, Dan Christopoulos. Dan Christopoulos is a dear friend of my personal family, of our entire church family for many years. He, in fact, was the first long-term missionary ever, and he lived in Kenya for three years teaching the faith back in the 80s. And it's interesting, when I went and visited then, years later, I met a lot of people, and guess what their name was? Dan. They named him after Dan Christopoulos, which was such a blessing. But he's here today to offer the beautiful homily on OCMC. We have a rich tradition here of supporting this beautiful ministry. As we know, one of our festival proceeds will go to building a church in Kenya, and that will take us two or three years to raise the appropriate money, but we're going to do so so that there is a St. Mark presence throughout the entire world, and indeed a blessing. But until then, in a few moments, let us continue with the divine liturgy. Let us offer our best to our Lord God and Savior. Savior, so that as we prepare ourselves to receive communion, his body and blood of Christ, that we may be truly spiritually prepared. Having commembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted in his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering and spiritual fragrance, May return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you. Together, Patrimon o endis uranis, aesthito to anomasu, erthetu e vasiliasu, yenithito to thelimasu, os en uranoe ke epitizis, ton artinimon to nepusion, dosimin simeron, ke afesimin do efelimeta imon, os ke mis afimen to sofeleto simon, ke mis en engis is mas ispirasmon, araris e mas apotu poneru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <laughs> Nihai bude voje tvoje, jak na nebi, tak i na zemlji. Hreb nas naš nušni, daz nam sohodni. I prosti nam provi naši, jak i prošajemo vjeznacijem našim. I ne vevedni nas poskosu, ali vizoli nas viz lekavaho. For yours the kingdom and the power and glory 
of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And with your spirit, let us bow our heads to the Lord. from the glorious one of the King, and we throw them high with the Father, and are also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify such a pure body, and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand, and through us to all your people. O oh God, forgive me a sinner, and mercy, O oh God, forgive me a sinner, God, forgive me a sinner, Let us be attentive, proskomen. Desire the Holy Ghost. For the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed. Broken yet not divided for every and never consumed. Sanctify those who partake of it. Jesus Christos Nika. to say one more personal note. When I was a young seminarian, 20 years old, Dan was the director of admissions at Holy Cross, and he always pushed us and enthused us to do more. And he said, when you go out to the parishes, don't just serve your parish. Serve your archdiocese camps. Serve the national ministry. Serve overseas. These are important things. And indeed, he did that, and we're blessed to have him here to offer these beautiful words this morning. Thank you, Father Mark. It's great to be back with you here at St. Mark's after almost two years to see some familiar faces. I was reading a recent study, and they're estimating that at this moment there are over 8 billion people in the world. And yet the reality is we sit here at St. Mark's in Boca Raton, Two-thirds of the world is not Christian. 25% of all people have never even heard the gospel preached in a way where they can say yes or no to Jesus Christ. Over 2 billion people never have heard the gospel. 5.2 billion people today are not Christian. Reverend fathers, reverend deacons, brothers and sisters in Christ. These statistics can seem overwhelming. They can be staggering. They might make us feel bad, but they're not personal. We might even be wondering, what can I do? I feel overwhelmed. I'm just one person. For the next few moments, we're going to try and answer that question. What can I as one person do to spread the good news of Jesus Christ? As I look before me, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, just finished the divine liturgy, and 50 adults are lined up, many of them holding babies. 
I feel overwhelmed. As Father Mark mentioned, in July of 1985, I was blessed to be the first missionary that the Orthodox Christian Mission Center ever sent overseas. And in August of that year, we were doing a mass baptism in a little area of Kenya known as Lykipia. And we were doing that baptism of children and adults. So if you remember at the baptism service, we start with the catechism, with a dialogue. And how's that dialogue start? We have the people face the West and we ask questions. What do we say? Apotasito Satana. Do you renounce Satan? Three times. Have you renounced Satan? Three times we ask that question. And then what do we say? Then blow and spit upon him. Right? Now what do we do in the Greek church? We do, oh, tu, tu, tu. Right? Oh, tu. What did these people do as I'm standing in front of them? They were from the Turkana tribe. And in the Turkana tribe in Kenya, part of their circumcision ritual, males and females, is to knock out the two bottom teeth. Made them really good spitters. <laughs> so what happened? Do you renounce Satan? Yes. Have you renounced Satan? Yes. Then blow and spit upon him. All of a sudden, 50 adults are going, poo, poo, like 12 feet away. And it struck me, this was personal. This is real. It's not some empty ritual. Our relationship with God is personal. Isn't it what the deacon read from the ninth chapter of the Gospel of St. Mark in today's Gospel lesson? When the father brings his son who is possessed to Jesus and he says, Lord, have pity on him, which is a bad English translation. In Greek, it says, Lord, have compassion. Ochi pity, not pity. Pity just means to feel bad for somebody. Compassion, esplachnia in Greek, is a visceral reaction, which means your splachna, the guts, turn over. It was personal to Jesus. And he said, bring him here. And he healed him. Our Lord made it personal. In the baptism service, when we blessed the waters, the priest said, For you, O Lord, could no longer endure to see the race of men and women tormented by Satan, and so you came down and saved us. He didn't remain aloof as a pandokrator above us in the dome. He didn't look upon us and say, Kaimeniathropi, these poor people. He said, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to become one of you and I'm gonna give up my life for you. That's personal. So the first way that we respond to overwhelming situations is to understand that it's personal and that we have a choice. What did we celebrate yesterday? We talk about the Evangelismos, the Annunciation. But what is the Evangelismos? What is that feast? It's a feast of our holy Theotokos, the Virgin Mary, saying yes to, to the Lord. Ne kiria. Yes, Lord. Let it be done to me. Katatorimasu. According to your will. We don't have to say yes to Jesus. We can say no. It's a choice. With your support, since that day that we went to Africa in 1985, 122 other missionaries have now gone overseas. Long-term missionaries, including 22 who are right now serving 
in foreign lands. We have had 357 short-term teams. And I know that many of you right now in the congregation have been on those teams. Over 2,800 individual people. We have worked in 52 countries, two U.S. territories, and Alaska. Delivered millions of dollars in aid. How? By saying yes. By saying yes to Jesus Christ. We have to live out that yes. That's what our missionaries do. Have you ever heard that one-liner? Be careful how you live your life because you might be the only Bible that some people ever read. Be careful how you live your life. You might be the only Bible that some people ever read. So what kind of gospel do they see when they see me or you? We have to be before we can do. We have to be before we can do. What did Jesus say to Mary and Martha? Martha, Martha, why are you troubled and concerned about so many things? Only one thing is needful. And he turns to Mary and says, she has chosen the good portion. And what is that good portion? To place herself at the feet of Jesus and open up herself to saying yes to God. Have you all ever seen a full moon? You seen a full moon? Do you know what a full moon is? Have you ever thought about this astronomically? It's simply every 28 days or so, the moon perfectly aligns itself with the sun so that what we call a full moon is nothing more than the full reflection of sunlight to the earth. Because the moon doesn't have light of its own. I was thinking about that yesterday during the Evangelismo because like many of you, I remember saying Pimata as a little boy, Fengeraiki Mulambro, Fengamuna Perpato, right? Right? But you know what struck me as an adult? The moon doesn't have light. I don't have light. Jesus Christ is the light. Ego imito fos tu cosma masle o kyrios. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. It's personal. We have to say yes. And then what do we do? We have to share the good news. We have to proclaim it. Isn't that what we celebrate yesterday? The Gabriel, Gabriel the archangel, comes down to Mary and says, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. O Kyrios metasu. Blessed are you among women. He's sharing the good news. What does the Apolitikion say yesterday? Today is the summary of our salvation. The mystery which was hidden from all time has now become manifest. And the Son of God becomes the Son of Man, of the Virgin. That, brothers and sisters, is a message the world needs to hear. Didn't our forefathers on 202 years ago when Metropolitan Yeramanos rang that bell and declared freedom from the Turks, didn't they announce it? Didn't Gabriel announce the good news? We have to do the same thing. To those 25% of the world who've never even heard it. To the two-thirds of the world who don't follow Christ. Archbishop Anastasios of Albania, the foremost authority living on missions in the Orthodox Church, writes the following. There is no treasure more precious than the truth that was revealed by the Word of God. Therefore, those who suffer the most in our day and age are those who have been deprived of the Word, not because they themselves refuse to listen, but that we who have known the truth for generations refuse to offer it. Wow. Think about that. We know the truth. We're in this church because we are people of the true faith. But the question remains, are we willing to share it?
As Father Mark said, and as I well know, we not only have board members in this church, like Helen Nicosisis, we not only have an Athena, we not only have faithful people who've given to us throughout the years, but we have people who will continue to support this work. And yet, it's not just for a few. It's not just that the church is going to give a donation. It's for each and every one of us. Is it personal? Do we say yes? And do we proclaim it? Stephen Covey, who authored many books, including the famous Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, wrote the following. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Brothers and sisters, what is the main thing? It's that we have a Lord who loves us. It's that we have a Lord who changes our lives. It's that we have a Lord who forgives us. It's that we have a Lord who mounted the cross. Why? To take on our pain and suffering so that he could raise us up to a new life. Salvation is personal. Jesus didn't come to save humanity. He came to save you and me by name. We have to say yes to that salvation and transform us. A few weeks ago, our executive director, Father Martin Ritzy, traveled with our new grants and manager, or grants and um, project manager to Kenya. Traveled to a place where we're probably going to build the church that you've started raising money for, a remote area called Turkana. One of the people that they met with is named Rebecca. If you were at the Greek Orthodox clergy lady in New York City this past summer, maybe you saw her on a video talking about how her life had changed when she became an Orthodox Christian. What happened three weeks ago is there were nine bishops there to enthrone Bishop Neophytos in his new diocese. And one of those nine bishops was a bishop from Uganda. And he said, wow, what you've done here is remarkable. We need to do this in my part of Uganda, but I need people. And Rebecca, who became Orthodox 10 years ago, raised her hand and said, I'll come. I'll come to Uganda, even though I'm Kenyan, because I want to share what God has done for me. This is what we do, but we can only do it with you. I'm here today for two simple reasons. First, to thank you. This church has traditionally been a stalwart supporter of the Mission Center. But I'm also here to challenge us. We can't step aside and let somebody else do it. Not everybody's called to be a missionary, but some of you might be. Prayerfully explore that. But every one of us can give. Every one of us can make it personal, just like our Lord, to whom be all glory, honor, and worship, now and forever. Amen. We thank Dan, and now I ask you to please rise as we prepare ourselves to receive the main thing, the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown and make me worthy, without condemnation, to partake of your pure mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, 
since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and from my fears he set me free. 
that your faces may not blush with shame when the poor cry out the Lord hears them and rescues them from all their distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory camped around those who fear him to rescue them taste and see that the Lord is good happy are they who take refuge in him They lack nothing, those who revere him. Many who are wealthy suffer hunger and need, but those who revere the Lord never lack any blessing. Save, O God, your people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has saved us. Now and forever and the ages of ages. Let us be attentive. We have received a divine, holy, pure, immortal, life-giving and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our sanctification, and to you we owe for glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In your name, pray, let us depart in peace. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And do we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. We pause and offer memorial prayers, a 40-day memorial for Bess Peterson, who was, we hear the word archon a lot, she was an Archondisa given to her by Patriarch Athenagoras directly, a one year for Katina Paspalis, a three year for Peter Constantinides, an eight year and 17 year for Stadio and Maria Papa Michael, Michael and Fotis's parents, a 53 year for Nicholas Bandelidis. We pray that our Lord will give them all eternal rest in his kingdom. Metaprimato dicheon, te teliomenon, tastri hason zulon su, so teran apavson, filaton aftas, istin makarian zoin tim parasi, filanthrope. In your place of rest, O oh Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants. For you alone are immortal. Ox a patri ke io ke a io pnevmati si o theo si mono katavasis adin ke tas o dinas lisas ton pepe di menon aftos ke tas psichas ton dulon su so tera napavsol. Oh, and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. O holy, pure, and immaculate virgin, who gave birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. Saints, give rest, O Christ, we pray to the souls of your servants, where there is no more pain, no more sorrow, nor suffering, but life everlasting. Meta dona eon anapason Christe tas psychaston O oh God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again. 
and we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Bess, Katina, Peter, Stelios, Maria, and Nicholas, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Grant this love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trample it upon death and abolish the power of the devil and given life to your world. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, Bess, Arjondisa, Katina, Peter, Stelios, Maria, and Nicholas, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word, deed, or thought, for there is no one who person who lives and does not sin, except for you the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you, O Christ, Lord God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of thy servants, whose names we commemorated, who have fallen asleep. To you we offer glory, <coughs> together with your eternal Father, your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever and all to the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters, who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God who rose from the dead is a good, loving, and merciful God. Have mercy upon us and save us through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother whose annunciation we celebrated yesterday. 
the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner of John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, of Saint Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joy Kimenana, of Saint John Climacus, whose memory we observe today, and of all your saints, have mercy in us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. To the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. A special welcome today to Elizabeth Suess and Todd Swess from Pompano Beach, St. Ambrose Church. Welcome, join us in the liturgy after the liturgy and the fellowship hour. As you depart church today, you will see Angela Mitchell and Jenny Sager who are there with Jim Dovis ready to accept your donations for OCMC. We'll see you in the fellowship hall. May God bless you all. Our two clergy from New England are gonna offer on Dideron today as they prepare for the warmth of S South Florida.